Good morning and welcome aboard this 2008 Hardy 50 motor yacht. We're listing her through Berthon. She's lying currently down in Plymouth in full commission, having just undergone anodes, lift and scrub for 2017. As you can see, this is a big semi-displacement motor yacht. She's an aft cabin variant, so she's got six berths in all in a twin forward cabin, two bunks in a side cabin, and a large owner's aft double with ensuite. Taking all their heritage from work boats up in Norfolk, this is the last Hardy 50 to be built by Hardy Marine, and she was specifically designed by her current owners who've owned her from new. She now has around about 550 hours run on her MAN R6 diesels, which are the largest option with 800 horsepower a piece. And she should climb up to a top speed of around about 27, 28 knots with a clean bottom and light fuel, and also allow anything around about six knots as a just crawling along cruise. So here we are on the aft deck. We've got plenty of storage. We've also got a fridge, barbecue grill, and a large life raft. This boat was actually up to MCA coding standards or never formally chartered. Very safe decks, just walking around the aft. And here you can see that we've got large mooring bollards, plenty of sub-deck storage, bomb tubes for the fenders. We're carrying a small rib on the back end here, teak bathing platform, and a man overboard hoist also for carrying the dinghy just on the aft starboard quarter. Very high quality stainless steel rails just throughout the boat, decent wide side decks, and access into the main wheelhouse through both port and starboard access doors, as you can see here. Decent tow rail all the way around, so it keeps the water off the decks and also gives a good sense of security. We've got a bow locker up here for warps, chain, etc., just to get underneath the windlass. And a nice big high power windlass on the forward end with remotes from both upper and lower helms and the foredeck. Plenty of natural and forced ventilation on this boat. Teak foredeck, a nice eyebrow over the windows just to keep those clear. Walking back straight into the wheelhouse on the port side. Low level lights here and we'll just go up and onto the flybridge. There's an EPIRB which is in the sail just here mounted on the starboard side as you come up. We've got two forward seats, helm and co-pilot, central conning position, aft facing seat forward on the port side. Large radar arch here. We've got an HD digital open array scanner here, wind instrument, got one dummy dome at the back. This boat has a satellite TV, which we'll run through later on. This is the main upper helm, centrally 120. It's got the MAN digital displays for all engine information. Good Venturi screen just to keep a bit of the breeze off. I've been out on this boat personally in around about a 467 off Plymouth and she runs beautifully at that speed. The Hardy has a very refined semi-displacement hull, so completely round bilged with a decent keel on, so it tracks very well in weather, either across or down the waves. This is the lower helm, twin cab seats, twin screens, hydraulic thruster on this boat, and ZF gear throttle controls. Upper telemetry data, it's just in typical Hardy style underneath the deck head. Moving across to the starboard side, we go through lighting to generator controls. This has got a 6 kVA gen set, around about 700 hours run. Battery status and then a proper forward facing chart area here. There's a bench that can flip forward if you want to sit down. All screens, forward screens and side are heated. And twin cab sprung suspension seats here. And as you can see, plenty of travel in these suspension seats. This boat has many, many extras on her. Looking over towards the battery isolators here, so extra fridges, drinks, lockers, etc. And those are the stairs onto the flybridge. 
So this is the forward dinette area. There's an extending table here and a four-seater settee. Moving around past the navigation, we can go down into the galley. So it's a dropped galley just over to starboard on these. Korean work surfaces, stainless steel appliances, plenty of storage both under the floor and in these eye level lockers and main wardrobes. All electric cooking on board, no gas carried. So very, very safe, very clean. Large fridge here and that's the underfloor storage locker. Tiled surrounds cooker hood extractors and plenty of natural light coming in through these windows here. Over to the port side here we have a writing desk, also can be used as a navigation area. And we go aft into the main heart of the boat. Access to the port side cabin was just through there. And there's a head down here with a shower attachment which can be used by that cabin and also just keeps any of the muck away from the rest of the boat if you've been down in the engine bay. This is the main washer dryer area. So we've got them on top of each other and the main hot water cylinder vice. And 12 and 24 volt switching here on the aft bulkhead panel, fire alarms and suppression system. Just looking forward here, there's plenty of storage space. And we've got more pumps up here. It's a flow jet system. All very, 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 very cleanly finished, workmanlike, and there are huge bilge supports underneath my feet here. And a large standalone fridge freezer. Looking aft, we have a fireproof door here, and we're in the main engine bay. So twin MAN R6 is 800 horsepower apiece. Just looking over to the starboard side, we've got oversized strainers closed at the moment. Seacocks up here, electronic control panels for each and soft panels above each engine. Going back through the engine room, we have the generator set just over to port. Main filtration for each one set behind each engine. Hydraulics from the gearbox here and main stuffing gland, all very easily accessed. It's crouching room in here, extremely good overhead lighting, but everything is easy to get to. Main fuel manifold is here on the aft bulkhead panel. There's a fire suppression system on this as well. And then if we look over to the port engine, we've got again, more pipe work, generator. And this is the hydraulic tank, which is supplying the bow thruster on this boat, just sat in the aft port corner. Very, very clean engines. These have only run around about 550 hours. White painted out so you can tell instantly if there are any leaks. Similar strainer on the port side, again closed off correctly. Large engine mounts either side to take out as much vibration as possible. Rubberized floor, so no problem on getting on your knees. And both port and starboard bilges, very clean. Plenty of uh, insulation there and a laminate floor throughout. Again, Hardy build a lot of work boats, so they've got very deep knowledge on making these boats. They were beautifully built, but lasting as well. So we go forward into the forward cabin. It's a twin V berth. Television, heating controls, all properly trimmed out. The timber here is, as in the rest of the boat, a lightly oiled and varnished teak. Here we have stereo, Eberspacker controls for this forward end on the boat. Plenty of locker space around the berths and also in a hanging locker in the aft starboard corner of this boat. We have an ensuite heads and shower compartment. Again, hydronic radiators here and blown air system through into this head. Plenty of light in here, opening port light above. And a proper walk-in shower that can just be screened off with this roundel. All very clean throughout, obviously a well-cared-for boat 
and still has said in her original ownership. So that's the forward en suite. We'll just walk backwards now through the galley area. Got that second cabin off to the port side. Through the dinette area and we're down into the main saloon. Plenty of overhead lighting. We've got AV, stereo and television over on the port side and over to the starboard side, large wraparound sofa. It's an Alcantara trimmed sofa, really comfortable. Plenty of ventilation as said before on this boat. We've got derayed venters and also opening windows on the aft bulkhead end. Plenty of drink storage, bookcases, etc. throughout here and access to TV controls. It's a high-low television and an inbuilt dehumidifier in this uh, cupboard just down to the port side. Red low-level lights, so if you're navigating at night you don't need to turn on the main lighting overhead and this is the aft stateroom. So it's full beam. Huge double bed in the, uh, in the center line. Plenty of bookcases, lockers throughout, plenty of drawers. There's also a navigation instrument here that can just show you location. Hanging lockers all across the forward bulkhead and on the port side behind this door. And over to the starboard side, there's a dressing table with a lit mirror, etc. En suite is forward, over to the starboard side with a teak lined floor. Heads can be diverted to holding tanks if required. And this is all trimmed in a very sensible wipe clean finish. Again, have a towel radiator, blown air heating in here as well, it's hydronic and a full sized shower. So going back, just take one last look around at this aft double cabin. Really nicely trimmed out, good standing headroom and plenty of locker space that are very comfortable on board. Inverters are in this port hand cabinet underneath here and we're back upstairs. Pass the helm and that's the console again.